guys, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a butterfly on your nails today. So I'm going to start by applying a nude color on my nails. Currently, this one is my favorite nail polish, so I'm going to be applying three coats and then curing them. And then I'm going to apply a matte top coat. These are the two brushes I'm going to be using today. One is just a regular detail brush and the other one is an extra fine detail brush. So we're going to start by drawing the wing. I'm going to be using this dark blue with a detail brush to start the outline. I know y'all looking at this like, um, what the hell? But trust me, you just gotta trust the process, girl. Just trust the process a wiggle here and a wiggle there but it'll come together just trust me i'm gonna go back in and make the wing a little bit higher and just make sure the wings don't touch Repeat the same thing for the other side. I'm going to make two dots to help me make the bottom wings even and I'm basically just going to paint a teardrop. We're now going to fill it in with the dark blue and bring it down to the middle. I just feel that even if you don't know how to draw or you're like me that you know you're just out there making wiggles and praying for the best, being is kind of forgiving. See like it doesn't look that silly anymore. <laughs> And I'm gonna bring in like a lighter blue that's gonna kind of like a baby blue and I'm just gonna pop that like right in the bottom just don't cure the nails just yet we still want the nail polish to still be wet because we still want to blend them together so I'm just gonna start bringing this up slowly and start blending it with a dark blue
After we're done blending it together, we're gonna go ahead and cure it. Using a black nail polish, we're gonna start to outline the wings. And for me, I just kind of found it that it was a little bit easier to outline the butterfly using the extra fine detail brush. So after I outlined it and I cured it, some spots I kind of felt like I wanted to make it a little bit darker or lighter. So I just went ahead and went back in and somewhat erased the black outline because I wanted the middle to stay like really, really bright. So you kind of see that here I'm blending the two colors together and then going back in with the lighter color and then going in with the darker color. And here I'm using the extra fine detail brush to create the body. I'm also going back in to make the head a little bit more fuller. Now I'm just creating two little dots to create the little antennas. And I'm going to go back in with the white to go ahead and highlight some part of the wings and also to add a little bit of details, you know, kind of play with it. And once it's done being cured, you're going to go ahead and apply a top matte coat. So to create the clouds, I did end up mixing the clear gel polish with the white. And I'm just honestly, there's no real pattern to this because, you know, I feel like clouds are just, it's just their own personality. So this is what exactly what I'm doing right now. And it's just simple, it's just like basically three dots and just blending them in together and I do cure them in between every single time that I go in so I make a little part of the cloud I cure it I go back in I cure it and so on and so forth
So if you want to stop here, you can. I just felt like there was something missing still. So I went ahead and added a blue French tip. This is the final look you guys. I hope that this video was easy to follow. I really enjoy creating this butterfly even though I can't draw but you know I tried. Alright guys I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!